plugs be trimmed. Gotta shape the young minds, we gotta let them know that it's the time And if you got some barriers, gotta break them barriers down and it's okay to lose yourself, just know that you can be found And if you ever want it, hope, just be the hope you want in town I know this life can be hard and it can leave a sad frown But you gotta watch your dreams, you gotta bring them in bounds You some kings and you some queens, you gotta fix your gold crown Never worry about the haters, leave them in the wrong crowd, wrong crowd We gotta shape the young minds because we running out of time We gotta shape the young minds Because we running out of time You gotta get up off that line Because we running out of time We gotta shape the young minds Hey, how you doing brothers and sisters? My name is Andre Ware I live in Chicago, Illinois South side of Chicago I'm here coming to you today with the intentions or the hopes of shaping young minds of today, tomorrow, and the future. You might ask, what can I actually share with you to help shape young minds? Well, I'm going to use myself as an example. Right now, I can say, proudly say, I am a poet and an author. I've been published actually for about let's just say five or six years now, I published the book, The Purpose of Being and The Naked Eye, which you can find on Amazon. Did I always want to be a poet? Nope, had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. However, I did tell my mom when I was younger, like seven, eight years old, that you know, I want to contribute something to society. What, I couldn't tell you, but as I've grown older and developed in life, experienced quite a few things. God blessed me the ability to write and become a poet and an author as of today. What, why I say that to you? Because you are at a crucial stage in your life where you should be asking yourself, hey, why am I here? You know, what is it that I'm supposed to be doing in life? Do I even want a better life for myself? And hopefully you're saying yes, because who wants to just live and exist? You know what I mean? I mean, you're not doing anything if you're just existing. But if you have a goal and a plan, you're working towards something. Yes, I did say a goal and a plan, which means it takes work. Most of us, well, I'm not even going to say most. Some of us, when it comes to working hard, it can be challenging at times and kind of deter us to be like, it's not even worth it. But trust me. It's worth it. I'm here today to tell you, it's worth it. You just have to look down deep within yourself and find out who you are. You know what I mean? I'm going to say this. If you are a singer, because most of us always ask, well, how do I supposed to know what I'm supposed to be doing? If you're a singer, you find yourself always singing, guess what? That's your gift and talent. Sing. Don't become an accountant if you can sing. Another example. If you're good in math, just doing algorithms, it just comes natural for you, adding, subtracting. You can just see it in your sleep. Guess what? Be a mathematician. Do something of a career that, entail, that, entitles, that entails math. Don't go out there and do something that's against what you're good at. Because then it's going to be difficult for you. That's, in my opinion, I would say, follow your gifts and talents. What comes easy for you, you find a, a job or a career or a field that fit your skill set that comes easy for you, natural for you, then you'll be successful in it, in my opinion. Vision. I'm going to say it takes a vision. You got to have a vision. See what you want to be. You have to see it. I mean, literally, when you go to bed, you dream it. When you wake up, you just fill it in your heart. That's your vision. When you have that vision, guess what? Chase after it. Now, go beyond what you see today. 
such as sports, a basketball player, or in some cases, a teacher or a doctor, firefighter. Go beyond that. And I say that because how many zoologists do you see? Zoologists like Roger R. Liner Young or a chemist, a chemist, Percy Julian, George Washington Carver, even a designer like Ruby Bailey or Jay Jackson, astronaut who likes going to the stars, who likes leaving planet Earth, be an astronaut like Mae Jemison or Ronald McNair, just an example. And I say that because we always see the norm, what's in our circle. We don't think outside this circle. You know what I mean? Believe. When you see yourself as this, as this person you created or that you see yourself being becoming, believe it. And then when you see it and believe it, chase after it and understand, and this is important, understand that you know you can do it because when you share your dreams and visions with people, some of them, they can't see it for you. You have to see it for yourself. When you become it, then they be like, oh, you always said you were going to do that. You know, you know how we are. Until it's actually done, we don't believe. But once it get done, then you give people hope. So be that hope for somebody else. I'm trying to be that hope for you. Avoid negative people. Disregard what they say. Surround yourself with people that inspire you to do better. You know, some people could be like your teacher, your mom, your aunt, it, it, whoever it is, a good friend. And if you don't have someone to encourage you, that should tell you something. It's time to change some things, especially people around you. And don't give up just because it's difficult, because life is already difficult. Waking up every day and just knowing, trying to figure out what you're going to eat sometimes can be difficult. How you're going to get to school or work can be difficult if you don't have a car or have bus fare to get there. You know what I mean? But it's natural. It's part of human, human nature. It's part of life, basically. And then when you see yourself, this vision that I was saying, seeing yourself becoming this person, and then you believe that you can become this person, guess what? The work start. Pursue it. Yes, pursue. Chase it like your life depends on it. It's your dream. Passion. Got to have passion for what you envision yourself to become. Chase it with vigor. Like if you don't obtain it, you would just die. And seriously, once you do that, it helps you to stay focused. Yeah, stay focused. With all the distractions in the world, between what's going on now, the... the um, the war in Ukraine, of course, the drug epidemic, I'm sorry, epidemic. And this is, I don't know what your distraction is. Only you know what your distraction is. Basically, what I'm trying to say is you got to disregard it and overlook it. Don't let it overcome overcome you, whereas you just can't lift yourself out, up out of this despair. Never lose focus. And if you fail, hmm, and you probably will, because failing is... It's expected. You're not going to get it the first time around. It's okay. Don't become devastated just because it didn't happen. You'd be like, man, I knew this wasn't going to work. That should inspire you more. I'm going to make it happen. You know why? Because you want it. You want to say, man, when I, I remember going through all this, it was so difficult, but I persevered. I didn't give up. I believed in myself. And look at me now. You want to be able to say that. Now, with that being said, you're going to come with some sacrifices, meaning what you're willing to do to get there. Educate yourself, whether it's through college, trade school, or self-taught. It's just a matter of perception. I would recommend college, though, because, you know, once you get that college degree, can't nobody take it from you. It's something, it's like a foundation. You could build on that. Now, I'm going to use myself as an example. I'm here speaking before you today, shaping young minds of today, tomorrow, and the future. I had no idea 
that I was going to be speaking to you today. I had no idea I was going to be an author today. But I knew I wanted to do something with my life that was meaningful and can actually be of use to somebody to help them become a better person. Yes, I'm going to use myself as an example. Once I actually got published, it made me feel good about myself. That was a dream that I didn't know I wanted to be a publisher, but I accomplished it. It's an accomplishment, and I pride myself on that. Now, my next goal is to become a speaker. Now, I don't speak like Dr. King or Frederick Douglass. I don't. But I do have a voice. I do have a tongue. So I stand before you or I sit before you as calmly as possible and as real as possible and be like, hey, look at me now. I'm in front of a camera speaking, trying to motivate and inspire the next generation. And I enjoy that. I really do. And with that being said, knowing that I enjoy that and I'm giving back, this is my way of giving back, I feel good about myself. Now, in my eyes, I'm not financially rich, no. But successfully, as a success, I can say yes. You know why? Because I can share my experience and let you know, if I can do this, you can too. Don't chase, I think I need to say this and this is important. When you do something, do it from your heart. Don't look for the money aspect of it right away. Do it because you enjoy it. And, and I really do mean that. Find yourself. Seek yourself. Because guess what? Somebody else can determine who you are. Why let somebody else determine who you are when you can determine who you want to be? It's your life. You got one life to live. Once it's gone, you ain't coming back. And I know I use the word ain't, but Ebonics, you're not coming back. So make it count. Make it worthwhile. You already see the negativity in the world. Do something positive for a change. We all are hurting. Trust me. We all are hurting one way or another. So contribute something that's worthwhile to, to prevent pain, so to speak. Yeah, to prevent pain. So I close by saying, shaping young minds of today, tomorrow, and the future. My name is Andre Ware, a Chicago native, a published, a published author, and a poet of The Naked Eye and The Purpose of Being, which can be purposed on Amazon. Hopefully, if you purchase it, and I hope you do, I wanted to inspire you. I wanted to motivate you to be better. Seek who you are. Look within yourself. Peace. Because we running out of time. We got to shape the young minds. Because we running out of time. You got to get up off that line. Because we running out of time. We got to shape the young minds.